What's up everyone, Dr. Jacob Wilson here. Today's topic is three ways to use essential amino acids to spike or maximize muscle growth. If this is your first time to the channel, if you love this content, make sure you hit that like button. If you wanna support the channel, the best way you can do it is share this content. So guys, this is an exciting topic today and it's dedicated to a scientist by the name of Douglas Patton Jones. Now, I'm sure a lot of you guys haven't heard of Douglas Patton Jones, but he's one of my heroes. Back in 2005, I was, um, I was in grad school, just finishing my master's program, and, um, and he published a landmark study to both myself and my brother, Dr. Gabe Wilson, who actually kind of um, moved on in his dissertation based on this topic. And at the time, it was actually pretty groundbreaking. But before I get into that, I just wanna say that, unfortunately, as there's many, as much great research he's done, he passed away recently. In fact, he just passed away with cancer. I had the opportunity to meet Doug in person. It was a dream of mine come true. I had a, 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 an opportunity to present along him. He's just a giant in the field. So again, I am dedicating, we are dedicating this video to Douglas Patton Jones and his family. So what Patton Jones did is he had a study where he took people and they had three meals. Now, these meals were like seven to 800 calories. He published this back in 2005. They're about seven to 800 calorie meals, large meals. And then he had another group which had those same meals, but in between, okay, meals, they had 15 grams of essential amino acids. Now, essential amino acids are the amino acids your body can't make, so you gotta get it through diet. That's all he did, small calorie load, 15 grams of essential amino acids between meals. What he found, actually, if you look at net protein balance at the end of the day, it was, it was either um, no gain or slightly negative. You go, how do you eat 300, 800 calorie meals and you're slightly negative? Well, you know, what we know is that protein synthesis goes up and then between meals, you kind of break down protein. So it's a net wash. But when you gave essential amino acids a small amount of calories between meals, it drastically, I mean massively, uh, elevated protein synthesis throughout the whole day. So he was the first person to show that having essential amino acids between meals could be highly anabolic. So three tips on that. Number one is this, make sure you take at least um, 10 to 15 grams of essential amino acids between meals, okay? Um, so actually those are two tips. Take essential amino acids between meals and at least 10 to 15 grams uh, between meals. And then my final tip is that um, the one thing to do with essential amino acids is again, time it. There's old school research um, uh, from out of Tipton's lab, which basically found that consuming essential amino acids before exercise was the best time to do so, even compared to after exercise. So again, 10 to 15 grams, take them between meals and always take 15 grams to 10 to 15 grams prior to exercise. Thank you so much, guys. I'll see you next time.